One of the most popular parts of my shows has always been my glow-in-the-dark finale. Now, if you want to know what that is, it's something called POI, it's spelled P-O-I. And the ones that I use uh, when I'm performing are these ones right here. And uh, what basically it is, it's got an LED that sits on the end of a leash. So you spin this around and you get something kind of cool looking with it. Now, I don't recommend starting with these and I actually want to show you how to build your own so you can start practicing the techniques uh, with just stuff that you have hanging around the house. And what you're gonna need, uh, first of all, you're gonna need two socks and you wanna get kind of long socks. Um, soccer socks work really well. Um, you want them to be lengthwise about as long as your arm or maybe just a little bit longer than that. Uh, it's kind of my favorite length. Now you can get longer, shorter works also, especially just for technique uh, and learning the technique of doing this. Um, but as far as for the sock length, something like this, um, if you don't have one, Look around, maybe your parents have a pair that you can use. I would just suggest washing them before you use it. All right, so once you get your sock, now you need something to put inside of it. So the problem with the sock is if you just spin this around, it doesn't have enough weight to really go anywhere. Um, so the way we're gonna work that is we're gonna utilize an item around the house um, just to make it a little bit heavier on the end so it approximates what proper poi is. Now, what I recommend most people do is you get a balloon um, you want to get a balloon that can basically end up being about the size of your fist when it's full. Uh, actually, can fit inside your hand, not necessarily your whole fist, but about your hand. And if you don't have balloons, there are a couple options. I just went around the house really quick to find a couple things. Um, you can find a ball. Um, a tennis ball can work. They're not quite heavy enough, uh, but for just learning the basics, they work pretty well. This one's just a little bit heavier and it would actually work pretty well uh, for what we're doing here. Um, another option is a dryer ball. And a dryer ball could work. Uh, the advantage to these is these are super soft. So uh, when you're learning poi technique, if you hit yourself with this, it's really not gonna hurt at all. Uh, the downside is it's really not quite heavy enough uh, for what you're wanting to do, but it would work if that's all you have. Um, another option that I found is actually find a potato. Um, and this one is about the perfect size, fits inside of your hand. And if you wanna know about how much weight you wanna have at the end, this is about perfect. Um, it weighs just about right, fits inside my hand comfortably. And this is about perfect. Now, if you're gonna use food items, um, this is kind of an older potato that probably we're gonna throw away. Um, this could work, or maybe like a small orange or something, or a mandarin. Uh, only thing is if you're gonna use something like this, I would suggest putting them inside of a plastic bag. Um, so that way, if you have them sitting in there for a while and you forget about it, uh, you're not overwhelmed by the smell. All right, so once you got your item, so what, whether, whatever you end up using, uh, the balloon technique I like because this one you can adjust the weight um, to precisely what you're looking for. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the balloon and the best thing you can use is some sort of a funnel. Um, you wanna put that into the balloon end. If you're outside and you're gonna use dirt, um, you can just shove away if you wanna get real messy. Um, but I like using dry dirt just so that way it doesn't change at all um, over time. So I just put it inside of a cup and you just pour this into the balloon and you have to shake it down a little bit and just add that in there until your balloon is the weight that you want. And what I found is about a quarter to half a cup, probably closer to half of a cup or 100 milliliters um, is kind of the ideal amount that you want in there. And so you just add that in And once you got all the dirt or sand in this case, we fill that up. And then what you're gonna wanna do at that point is you wanna tie a knot and just tie a knot so that it stays in there. You don't want that spraying around everywhere. And once your knot is tied, if I can do this, oops, there we go. Once you got that, weight-wise, fits inside my hand comfortably. Uh, maybe even just a little bit more than this might be perfect. Um, this was uh, 50 mils, um, so like I said, about 100 mil or half a cup. Uh, this is about a quarter cup. Uh, a little bit more than this might be actually a little bit more ideal. Um, so what we're gonna do then, take this, stick it into the sock, put it at the very end. Once you got that at the end of your sock, you're gonna tie a knot 
And you're doing this because you want the weight to stay at the very end, because as it's spinning around, we're trying to approximate what proper poi is. And so you wanna have all the weight right at the very end of what we're doing. So it's down here, not as tied, that's not going anywhere. And then at the opposite end, you can hold on here. If it's long enough, you can wrap it around your hand. Uh, but what I like to do is I actually like to tie a knot so that you have something to hold on to. And the advantage to this is you can make sure the measurement on both socks are exactly the same. Um, the reason why I said you needed two socks is because you wanna have one for each hand. So once you've got that set up down here, you repeat the same thing for the other one, and then you can start learning how to spin. Once you've got your two poi pieces made, um, you got your knots tied. You just want to measure them, make sure they're about the same length. Uh, they don't have to be exactly precise, but mostly there. And then lengthwise, like I mentioned, I like them about from hand up to about the shoulder. The one issue with socks is that they are going to stretch. Um, so you want to make sure that if you're having a hard time and you're hitting a lot of stuff with it, use a little bit shorter. The important part is learning the technique. And then once you get really good at it, you can then move up to the more expensive uh, glow poi. And those are a lot of fun to use, but you also don't want to break something expensive when you're learning. So that's why the socks are so good. So you can practice spinning and using these for different poi techniques. And that is how you can make some poi at home with stuff you just have sitting around the house.